Morning traders, are you guys ready to get started in all the action today? We got GDP, initial jobless claims, core durable goods, earnings all around, CSX, Comcast, Valero, Steel Dynamics, Lamb Research, Chevron, Las Vegas, Sand Service Now, IBM, Tesla. So much on the tape, team. Let's get into the live trading action. Hit the thumbs up. Who's ready to get into it? Who's ready to get that chicken dinner? I know I need it. Break even day yesterday? Nope. We took one more shot. I went into the red. Let's see if we bounce back today. Like always, you never know what's going to happen. The only thing we can do, take care of that probability. Let's see if we can get it in our favor today. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Those words have been dancing around my head all night. I mean, it's Vegas law, that phrase. <laughs> You and me both, Sal. I need some steak dinner. And so does my man, Ryan Faluna. We all need a little steak in our life, right? Why not? Maybe it's a little beyond meat. Whichever way, you need a little steak in your life. Let's get to the action. We'll take a Only look. Only if it's filet, baby. I'm good on the beyond meat. <laughs> oh, yeah. I need that real deal. I'm, I'm all about the T-bone steaks. Mm. Nothing wrong with a good old T-bone I think we steak. might have to start calling you T-bone. That's your T-bone, new nickname. T-bone. T-bone. You know what? I'm gonna cook me a nice. I'm gonna cook me a nice T-bone this weekend. I got. I got to get the grill going like again. It. That's the only good part about being a little bit in the south. It's, it gets warmer here a little earlier, right? I can go and do barbecues in January. Where I I know that there's barbecues in January in Chicago, but they're usually involved a big old jacket out there, like standing on top of the fire, <laughs> touching. Yeah, the coals. I mean the only but, the only barbecues in Chicago are gonna be Bears tailgates, but they don't play in January because they're bad. <laughs> oh, well, at least the market isn't bad, right? It seems like we're getting that up move right now towards 40280s. Of course, Tesla came in yesterday, didn't hurt the market, right? I think that's an important thing there. You can see Tesla up to 159 today. Has it run too far? Questions that you need to ask yourself today. We'll see what happened. Tesla's up there to 159. Will we get back up there? Next resistance. That's what we can kind of look at. I would say it's actually closer towards the 175 area. So there's still room. Maybe you're looking at this right here, this kind of topping levels right here. That's around the 161. We'll look to see if we get through there and keep pushing. Of course, there's going to be a lot of stocks moving around today. I talked about some of those earning stocks. We can look around. If there's anything that's on your tape today that's on your radar, on your watch list, tell us about it. Because there's too much stocks to really cover today. It's going to be more along what you guys want to talk about also. So let us know and we'll get into the action. Uh, right now, I'm definitely just going to keep watch to see if we can continue on the uptrend. I'm not going to be fighting to the downside today unless we cut back through 400. 400 will be that bull mark, right? And think about it. I think the bulls will also probably be holding to that 400 too, right? They don't want to see the 400 break again. Just like probably the bears are running from that 400. We'll see what happens today. Another thing that could happen today is you start breaking some of the mentality of those bears, right? And when you break that mentality, what usually happens? They go into cover mode, right? And when they go into cover mode, that's when we get a lot of the times those short squeezes, right? Because they have to cover. Buyers are stepping in there, and that's when we're getting that reaction. So we'll look to see if we get some short squeezes today. But enough of my outlook. Let's go to the man himself, Ryan Faluna. What do you got for us, man? Well, the first thing I want to talk about is the print here today, right? So we're reviewing some of the information here. I pose a question to you as well as the rest of the group, Mitch. Uh, so we had the jobless claims come in under the expectation, and mm -hmm. we have the GDP come in over the expectation. Let me ask you, does that sound inflationary to you? It doesn't. But holy crap, there's still inflation out there. Well, so that's kind of I mean, it seems like we'll, 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 <laughs> I know I know I know the market is really liking it today, but I'm partly wondering if this is kind of just like a head fake, like a bullish head fake, right? Because I, I suspect that the inflation issue is not actually gone. 
especially given some of these numbers. Good numbers. Uh, market is, is reacting well to it today. Uh, but you mentioned Tesla earnings yesterday. So Tesla traded up after earnings, trading up again here this morning. So we'll see. Um, but to me, I don't know. See, it seem, sure seems inflationary to me. We will go ahead and see. Now, um, we talked a little bit about the SPY. I guess we can go back and really just kind of cover that real quick. Let me go ahead and load up my daily SPY chart here. So at this point now, we're really we're in this resistance area that I've outlined in purple, right? So we have a clean break out of this channel, no matter which way you drew it at this point. So the question is, is where do we stop next? Um, I have this marked off as a resistance area, this 403 to 408. So I would imagine it's going to find some resistance here, but it might take till the top of the range. One of the guys on happy hour is pretty adamant that on this run up, we could trade up to 410. We're currently here at 403. So just to kind of give you an idea of where we are, um, this is it. This is it. We will redraw some of the lines and we will see if we can find new formations when they appear. But this is what we're looking at here today. Now, let me go over to the movers tool, because as you said, Mitch, there's quite a bit here this morning. Uh, I'll leave Tesla for you to cover. Uh, I know Tesla's trading up here. Um, so we'll take a look at that. And we'll see if this if that gives us additional trading opportunities today. If you traded it for the earnings print yesterday, probably a good morning for you today, especially if you were on the long side. Now, as far as the movers tool goes, we do have several items here that MLGO and um, well, I'm disappearing off. That here. was my fault. You know, it's all good. I'm just making sure, <laughs> uh, making sure all the computer gremlins are, are in order. Here. Um, <laughs> ML MLGO. I'm actually seeing a lot of mentions on Twitter about MLGO, so I wouldn't be shocked if this has a lot of volume here today. This might be the stock du jour, if you will. Um, looks like we traded up to 281, came all the way back into 210, and then burst right through that 281, setting new highs. Actually, set 297 first. We took that out as well. Let me go ahead and mark this new high. Lots of stuff happening here. So 311 here on MLGO. Um, I just I don't really see any news out here, which is one of the reasons why I was checking Twitter and noticed that it's getting quite a bit of mentions out there. So if you guys have come across any news here or anything being mentioned on the Twitter streets, let me know. We'll go ahead and take a look at that. But this one really seems to be uh, active here this morning. thing that we really want to take a look at, does this volume hold up in the regular session? Does it continue to trade uh, on high volume? Looking at this, um, on average, stock trades 2.3 million shares. As of this morning, we've already traded 11 and a half. So really good sign that something is going on here. Um, next is going to be BZFD. This is BuzzFeed, right? So this is the king of fake news, as it may be. Uh, this this stock running up here uh, really went up to 159, have come back towards the VWAP, but I would suspect that this VWAP and 141 level cross uh, happens here in the regular session. I wouldn't. I would also not be shocked if this happens right off the open. Uh, do we continue to trade up? I don't really know, but I would, I'm would. i thinking there's kind of going to be a push here out of the open. Uh, we do have some news in here. Wall Street Journal reported Meta Platforms pays BuzzFeed millions of dollars to generate creator content, deal valued at close to $10 million. So it looks like that's what's going on here. Uh, it says Meta splurges on BuzzFeed to tap budding content creator market. Here comes Buddy with his hedgehog toy. Um, so we'll see if, uh, we'll see, um, what BuzzFeed does when the market actually opens here today. Uh, I'm not necessarily a believer, but maybe we get some trading activity out of it. Uh, next one is going to be XM. This is Qualtrics International. Um, so I've never actually traded this stock. I ZM has come up a whole bunch, obviously that's Zoom, uh, but XM, I don't think that I've ever seen this. So I really have no feel for this. We do have a catalyst here. Shares are trading higher. So the company reported better than expected Q4 EPS and sales results and issued Q1 revenue guidance above estimates. So we have uh, some good earnings here as a catalyst. We have a nice chart that looks like it bottomed. Uh, looks like we're trying to take out this formation here. So all of this stuff looks pretty good. Question is going to be, do we get any of this, uh, any more like of a volume pop here? I'd love to see some more volume come in here. This stock looks like it could really get going. Uh, if it gets some juice. So this will be one to watch, although I won't be trying to trade this right out of the gate. Again, no edge with this. Want to see how it trades. Want to see how it behaves before I put any money on it. Uh, TSLL, this is one of the uh, bull ETFs. Obviously, with Tesla having a great morning, that, that ETF is up. Uh, we'll take a look at Tesla here itself as opposed to the ETFs. 
This is Express EXPR. Uh, so this also uh, popping up to about 129, coming back down towards 110. We'll see if this curls. This one doesn't really excite me at all. Um, don't really see much of anything. I guess we do have 8K out related to a credit agreement. I guess you could go through that if you want. This one, kind of a back burner stock for me, just happens to be higher on the list here. Now, let's talk about Tesla. Let's talk about Daddy Tesla here, all right? So this they reported earnings yesterday. Um, let's actually, we can actually go through the... Uh, the catalyst here. Tesla shares are trading higher if the company reported better than expected Q4 EPS and sales results and year over year increase in Q4 total production and total deliveries. So it wasn't just the EPS numbers, it was also those delivery numbers, which gets focused on quite a bit. They were both pretty strong. And as a result, Tesla traded higher here. Now, the interesting thing is that Tesla continues to trade higher here today. We have this 160 level marked off on the chart here. Uh, remember, this is one of the areas we said this could go. When we were first talking about Tesla, um, we were talking about this area in here being kind of light on support and resistance, right? It really kind of moved down quickly, kind of airy in here. And we suspected, hey, maybe the same thing will be true on the way back up. Well, it sure seems like that's the case. We really had two red days amidst a sea of green days, and we've completely come back to that level. So the question at this point now at 160 is, for me really, is gonna be, can we retake 180 on our grind to 200? Um, one of the, we actually discussed Tesla in the happy hour and uh, a number of folks, while it still has very, uh, very, very strong uh, cult following, and again, I, I mean that in a good way, uh, people that really appreciate the stock, follow the stock, et cetera, um, it may not trade like it used to, right? It may not be this wild uh, stock that trade that goes on these massive runs. So we'll see if, if that's what's going to happen here. I will say that uh, this little move to close this area off, this really worked pretty well. And uh, we'll see if we can end up getting some more room here today. I know Tesla is popular amongst this group. So I'm sure we will be checking into this. Um, I'm sure we will be checking into this throughout the course of the day. Now, uh, I will say that Neo, Lucid, and XPEV all are on the scanner today, all are up. I would guess that this is in sympathy with Tesla, right? Uh, taking a look here, looks like nothing is really going on specific to each of these companies, but they're all up. So I wouldn't be surprised that this is just kind of a, a sector move here. Uh, as far as Lucid goes, um, again, this actually looks kind of similar to Tesla. Coming off the bottom, we'll see if it ends up uh, staying strong. Bed Bath & Beyond on the list yet again. What is going to happen with Bed Bath & Beyond? Well, so first thing that I was wondering here is do we actually take out 334? We have. We've gone as high as 340. Um, do we continue to trade up? Is it going to be Bed Bath & Beyond or Blood Bath & Beyond? That question is yet to be seen. I personally uh, wouldn't really feel comfortable holding this for any length of time. I'd be a day trader, and frankly, I think we've got some better options out there. I'm willing to give some plasma. Let's go. You're willing to give some plasma. All right. Um, one other thing that I want to mention here, some of these, uh, uh, some. I'm not going to go through all of these. I want to give Mitch some time here to go through what the chat is saying. But I will say that Bitcoin yesterday did have a really, really nice push pretty much all the way up past 23,000. Looking at the Bitcoin futures today, 23,155. Uh, this means that Mara and Riot probably back in play. These have actually been really good trading vehicles in the most recent Bitcoin upswing. So it looks like we might have some more of that today. Now, uh, Bitcoin did hit lows of 22,900, but we've come up off those lows. So it'll be interesting to see if we get any more buying volume and if it trades along with the market. So well, there Mitch, you that's about all it. I got. You want to go over some stuff here from the group? Yeah, Christophe brought in the conversation there too, what you were just talking about, about crypto, right? Moving higher with the GDP and how that can move Mara and those stocks. Keep eyes on those, right? Those could definitely lift, especially if the market is going to continue higher. I expect Bitcoin to continue higher. And you guys know I'm trying to buy Bitcoin, but down towards $10,000, $11,000 level. And so what I do now is just let it go. I think sometimes you got to let opportunities go also, but we can use that to make money in the, in the meantime, right? We can use that to maybe look at a stock like Mara, to maybe look at a, a stock like Hut, right? I, I'm not the biggest fan of Mara, but that doesn't mean that I can't trade it towards maybe 10 today. Who knows, right? I think a lot of what we might see out the gate is a quick little down dip 
quickly bought up. That's what I'll be looking for. Can we do a quick red to green? That's what I'll be looking for. Of course, we are strong. We're towards 40311s right now. And I think you got to just look at what type of stocks will lead today, right? Will it just be the growth names? So growth names, what has been doing strong as of late? Shop. We talked about it yesterday before we got out of here. It was right in this pattern, team. It was right here, right right at the 45 when we were getting out of here at 11, right? Look at the time, right at 11, right? So uh, right there, it started moving up. We said that this one looked good. Look how it continued on the day. Boom, broke through that high and continued to go higher. So now we're going to look to see if shop can continue to keep rising that. And then also take a look at some of the ones that pulled back strong. Look at unity. Look at how this thing went down right back up there. So you, those are the type of stocks that you're looking at right now. Uh, maybe a snow. Snow doesn't look bad, right? A couple of highs right here in the 150s. Let's see if we get back to 150 today. We'll look to see if this keeps making moves to the upside. And of course, you're looking at growth names. You can look at Square. You could look at PayPal. There's so many names here. PayPal actually looking good too, because why? Because at least you have some levels, multiple levels to go off of, right? You're looking at like the 80-35 range and you got some highs to look to the left to really start getting through. You got about 80-39, then you really start getting up there to 80-75, two touches around there, 80-67. So let's see if we get above 81 on PayPal, that will be looking good there. So I'm doing a lot of these kind of trades, just trying to put them out there. You guys determine what's best for you, right? We'll see what happens today. Um, you could be trying to do like more of a sock sell leverage trade. But to tell you the truth, on days like this, I like to look for stocks that are trying to uh, lagging behind, right? There's going to be leaders that, had or that have already taken off. Uh, a pure example is in the autos like Tesla. Tesla's up there to 159.94. Yeah, I could expect it going a little bit higher, but I don't want to push too much into just Tesla, right? So I could look at different names to see how those react today. How does Lucid trade today, right? Lucid could actually be an upside bet today. Fisker could be an upside bet today. Ford could be an upside bet today. Looks like it has 13 right above it, right? We'll see if that gets moving today. When you see one of these auto manufacturers get a lift, look for the others. Look for NEO. Look how NEO is already showing strength. XPEV. These are all types of plays. Like always, team, you guys determine what you guys are trading. Today, I'm going to try to do my best to take kind of smaller swing trades, maybe some day trades to the upside. But really, we're looking for the upside out the gates here. We'll see if we get the red, the green pull back here right to start off the day. Tesla, first move out of the open here is up. Uh, we had a couple of people uh, asking about SNOA. SNOA, I don't know today. I, I, I don't feel great about it. I'll be honest. Uh, it seems like it kind of lost its momentum from yesterday. So I, I really want to see this... Um, Prove something uh, before before we talk about trading it. SNOA, not really sure that this is going to be on deck today. First thing I guess we could look for is a break of 196 to the upside, but uh, it's going to need quite a bit. Volume pretty depressed, especially compared to yesterday. The other one that the chat was asking about was ENSC. Uh, this is a, another penny stock here. This had a, a nice little run yesterday, um, but has really kind of bled back all of its gains and really kind of hanging out right where right where it was. So I, to, to me, I'm not necessarily a believer. Let's see if there's something here that turns it around. Uh, so far, haven't seen it yet. Struggling here, lagging towards the, the buy right now. I wanted to get PayPal on that pullback to 80. Just trying to look at it right now to see if I can grab it on a little bit of a pullback. Now, with a huge move out of the gate, Jay Rice saying, now, unbelievable, just an absolute monster move here. Um, Grabbed a little bit there. Starter on PayPal at 80.21s. I'm doing multiple charts here, team. I want to put as many charts as possible for you guys today. So awesome. one thing is we don't have Zunaid. So you guys let me know if you guys want any of these charts changed. You guys control the show also. Um, I'll try to do my best to stick to my trading on the right-hand side here. And then these four boxes is for all anything you guys want to look at. Right now, I have SoxL on the bottom left, NVIDIA middle down, uh, top middle. Let's take a look at, let's do the SPY in the top middle. So we always keep eyes on the SPY. SPY right now to 
three nineties high and then starting to pull back. I did get into PayPal a little bit there. Want to add, but willing to get a little pullback. It's already the 80 40s. We're up about 20 cents on the name. We'll look to see if this can keep going. Really wanted that 80 pullback. Wasn't ready towards the bell. And so uh, I had to like get my uh, broker in the level two to PayPal. And by doing that, just by that time going by, it gave me about 20 cent difference, right? So we always got to be ready right when the bell's coming here. Uh, Big rip on Unity. We talked about Unity this morning as one of the growth stocks that could get the lifts. That's a nice little push there from 3590s to 3660s. We'll look to see if it pulls back to 36 here for a view out bounce. Sox L, bottom left, starting to the upside. And that SNOA, I'll put in the top left. I know that you guys are keeping a close eye on that one. Yeah, we, depending on how SNOA trades too, we might be able to replace that one. Um, just looking at now here, just to kind of wrap this up on now, uh, they reported really strong earnings last night. And um, also, there were a bunch of SEC filings that came for insider buys. So some of the uh, directors and C-suite executives are adding to their position here. In addition to that, this morning, we got a whole bunch of re-ratings here, right? So uh, Outperform, Overweight, uh, Piper, Canaccord, J.P. Morgan, Oppenheimer, Cohen, Barclays, BMO, I mean, a lot of the big firm houses raising the price target and adjusting the rating here, may, or in this case, maintaining, sorry, maintaining really positive uh, ratings here and then adjusting the price target up. So now really trading up nicely with this. We're only up 3% just because this is a, a fairly high price stock. But the interesting thing here on now is that the initial reaction first was down. We're actually down to about 408 uh, and com contrast that with the highs of today, about 468. So 60 point swing just in the extended session here. Um, if you're looking to like swing trade this for, for like a longer term position, I'd actually wait for this to settle out as opposed to uh, the all of the volatility that you're getting right now. This would have been a great one to be in yesterday for, for today, though. Small add on the pullback to VWAP there for PayPal. Just building up my position right now. Uh, Keith, you had asked me a question earlier. Keith says, Ryan, do you set a level for float on the uh, applied filters? So I think what you're referring to here is the movers. No, I don't. Um, I generally don't try to whittle down trading ideas based on float. I definitely recognize the float, right? So if it's a low float stock, I may trade that differently than if it's a stock that trades a little bit more thick. Um, but no, I, I don't actually use the filter here. I could, if for whatever reason I needed to look for low floats, it'd be very simple, right? You just kind of, uh, just kind of adjust the slider here to look for low float stocks. But in my normal, uh, course of action, no, I do not actually apply this filter. A little pullback to VWAP there for Tesla, just bounce there, spy trying to hold up here. I'm looking for PayPal really now to start taking off here through the 8050s. Nice little VWAP bounce opportunity. We'll look to see if that can continue going there. Uh, Square I have on the left-hand side there. I saw NVIDIA was pulling back to the VWAP. Did that do a little VWAP bounce? Yeah, nice little VWAP bounce there. This top left chart. Um, maybe I think Keith mentioned there. Resistance at 190. Hopefully it's working. Levels in that Back at 200 in NVIDIA, long stock at eight has a net inverted shoulder is level that we can finally start calling there around the 193s. We'll look to see if that holds. What you got? I, I was gonna, I think that you're breaking up. I couldn't tell if it was my connection or yours. Mingo is saying it's I, I see, I see my connection right now, a little unstable, so it could be me okay. right now. Yep, yep, all good. It happens. I just wanted to make sure it wasn't uh, my internet shitting itself. No, it's just my uh, my internet. <laughs> <laughs> you're like no right it's not yours it's mine <laughs> jerk it's, it's spectrum you know can't handle the upload need it need an upgrade I, I could pay for the extra speed but i just feel like it's unnecessary sometimes but hey you know how it is except for right now yeah okay. and then right now it's okay. like one day right so it's a pretty good upgrade on money wise so Trying yeah. to keep those yeah. expenses low right now, man. This inflation. I, I, man. I'm with you. I was frustrated too because Comcast, and I don't mind bashing them here. Comcast um, limits your data now on your yeah. home plan, so I actually had to pay an extra thirty bucks a month to go unlimited because I work from home. All my entertainment, a lot of it is inter internet based, so uh, kind of forced into that. Unfortunately, really kind of sucks. 
All right. So just looking at the action right now, just battling here in PayPal, want to build the positions, but don't want to be adding up here in the 80, 40s or 50s. I feel like that's an easy way to get my average up there towards 80, 30s or 80, 35s. And then I can get a big pullback and just get crushed. So it's got to be patient today. We'll look to see if Tesla takes up to the upside. Spy pulling back now a little bit here. Um, and NVIDIA is still looking decent there. We'll look to see what happens on that one. PayPal, I'm just looking to see if it takes out the 8050. If not, it probably pulls back here right below the VWAP again. It'll be about the third time down here. We'll look to see if it pulls back there, and I can add below VWAP. We'll see what happens. Benzinga should pay for a new 56K modem. You remember those 56K modems? Oh, man, that, mm. that was... That was... Uh... I'll never forget that sound. No matter what happens in life, I will never forget the sound of a dial-up modem connected. I mean, to it, it's not like I also got zero speed, team. I got like 700 <laughs> downloads. Too. It's just like, all right, chill. Don't be comparing this to 56K. Chill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. This is not – we don't have dial-up here, you know. I'm um, not going with, like zero. Wiss, by the way, good call here. GNS popping here. So it looks like one of the – one of the previous stocks that uh, has really been moving for us actually took out all of the pre-market range. Ooh. Let me bring it up, Mitch. Took out all yeah, of the pre-market range. Here, got about to where we closed yesterday, trying to move higher. What I would like to see here for GNS. Oh, no, I did it again. You did it again? I am so frustrated that this keeps happening. I'm so sorry. No worries. I got um, it if you want. Oh, you... you this line, this lines life. Here, I'll put you. I'll put you a little bit. No, 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 no. It it keeps changing the chart on me. Like I click on something and it changes the chart. It's not supposed to be doing that. And it, and I, it's frustrating because I cannot get this recorded on video. It happens every time I am broadcasting and don't have it recorded. I have to like go back and find this clip, uh, so that I can show it to the to the. We'll developer. clip it. We'll clip it. Clip it. Clip it. Clip it. Actually, if you could help with that, that would be amazing. Anyway, as far as GNS goes, the level that I'm really looking for here is going to be 450. We could turn on the VWAP and see where we're at. So it looks like we're pushing up off of the VWAP here, a little bit extended. Um, the one thing that I will say is, is that this has shown strength to really kind of bounce back. I don't know if we're going to get that here today. We could probably use the volume to, to manage that. Really impressive volume stick out of the gate here. About as high as what we had yesterday uh, out of the print. Let's see if that keeps up. Think if that volume keeps up. Maybe we can make a move back here through 450. Good good shout here, Wes. Important level above towards the 8060 level here for PayPal. So looking for it. It could pull back to 7990. So just trying to wait here a little bit here on deeper time frames to make sure that we're in this the right way and not sized in too high close to that 80 50 it still looks good we'll see if this can keep battling um i'm on paypal uh, i'll show you guys that gns here also the way that i see it nice little push above 407 again let's go to the hourly chart as you're trying to recover hourly levels really 440 for me is that level where you start getting that nice spike through you can see how it lines up with also this kind of action right here i'll look to see if it breaks through that 440 going to 450s with some volume doesn't look too bad to continue today. We'll just look to see if we can get that run. We got to 427. Scanner really light here. All right. <clears throat> Keeping an eye on the pay pal. Pay in the pal. So a lot of that stuff off that initial pop has really kind of slowed down here. The broader market in general, but I'm also looking at things like NVIDIA, Apple, mm -hmm. Tesla, Goldman Sachs, really just kind of slowing down off of that initial pop. And yeah, in I'm going to take a quick look at the sectors. They're still up, but not really, not really pushing. In fact, if you wanted to play this, this would probably be the time to try an SQQQ or an SOXS trade. SOXS chart looking like it wants to go higher here above 2360. It's gonna need the uh it's gonna need the market to keep selling off here. Same with the Qs. It looks like it wants to actually break this and go. 
We'll see, though. No position yet on this. I want to add on um, PayPal, we did come to the VWAP one more time, but it was really quick. So I wasn't able to get the, the ads there. I'm looking for a dip towards that level, um, but it's looking good for me in PayPal. I just needed to take out the 8050s eventually, but just trying to build up the position here and see if we get that pattern breakout. GNS looking like it's trying to push a little bit there towards the 430 area. We'll look to see if we get through that 430s. Snap, looking strong here this morning. What's going on with Snap? Okay, earnings in five days. I don't think there was anything else going on though. GNS hit 430s and pulled back immediately. Huh, this, this does not seem great. Anyway, I'm not sure what the strength in Snap is attributed to here this morning. As we're talking about GNS, let me put that back on my screen here. By the way, Mara really rolled over here. Bitcoin uh, off the highs here, off the highs here. So let's take a look at GNS. Ooh. All right, adding the PayPal. Pulled back fast there. It's right back to 80, so just gotta be careful here. Don't want it to break 79, 89s. That one more time on the 80s, but I'm gonna wait for we come back through 80, 25s. Dan, uh, good morning, Dan. GNS is running up to the top of the downtrend, needs volume to get over it. Dan, is this the trend that you're referring to? Looks like it to me. Looks like it. And yeah, it, it, a, a lot of these plays here are really going to need names. This is on the hourly chart. What does a 15 minute look like? Similar. Yeah, I'm with you here. That 450 area. I this this downtrend, this down yes, okay. So this downtrend, um did this definitely look I mean, look, it ran right up to that and and slowed down. To me, to me, the area here is still gonna be 450, right? The area here is we really need to clear out 450 if this is really gonna have any upside juice. And the volume already kind of looks like it's drying out. Now that could change in a hurry. So I don't think the die has been cast yet for today. But um, we really do need to see that volume push up here. Um, let me go to the one-minute chart and see where we actually topped out at. 430, huh? So not, not bad. Uh, VWAP here. This, yeah, not over here yet. Well, maybe we'll keep watching GNS. This might be our best opportunity here today. All right. Spy did that 945 pullback. Let's look to see if it ramps through 10 o'clock or do we just start getting a takedown here? I think it's important to see if for the bulls, that you could do a little bit of a pullback and then all of a sudden just get a big ramp through because that would really drive the spy here. I think a lot of uh, people were looking to play bulls, bull side, right? So it's okay to get a pullback. Now let's see if the buy the dippers come in. PayPal right back up there towards the VWAP side. So as soon as I get a pullback here, I'm going to add for my last time and then I have full position. As you guys know the average entry is right now 8018. So we're looking good here. I'm just looking for a little pullback below the 25s to add here. Uh, w Ooh. asking, what about COSM? So COSM, this could get rolling here. First of all, first thing to note, the very, very first thing that I want to note, even before this curl up, is that we really, really like volume. And the COSM has really performed for us when the volume has been elevated or expanding. And we're not getting that at all. So this push up here, um, this... I mean, it looks good, right? We really kind of moving away from the view app here. We're 20 plus cents above. Uh, but to me, it just, I, I don't know. It's its hard to use this as a potential entry without having the volume accompanying it, W. So not sure if you're still on it, on it from some of the several days ago. This, this one's been back and forth. But to me, really want to see this volume expand. All right, average is set for me, 80.18. Position set now on PayPal. Now let's see if we can take it through the 80.50s here. Hold, I don't want to see close towards 80. Let's go to the five minute also. You can see how you have some wicks down there. Let's look to see if we get back through the top wicks, which are through the 80.50. And a big thing would be also the SPY just coming back up through 404, right? That would be a good level to look for. SOXL trying to come back up there. That just gives me a little bit more outlook on semiconductors overall. Um, and then, of course, GNS is one that you guys are watching here. It's pulling back a little bit. When it's at 430, just building kind of sideways there. That doesn't look too bad. 
Uh, PayPal now towards 80 30s. And I'm going to look to see if we take out the 80 50. If we take out 80 50, I'll take a little bit off, probably about a third, and let the rest of it run. I'm looking for a nice little push here today on PayPal. We'll look to see if we get it. If not, got to run. There's a uh, spy rejecting the move back above VWEP. Uh, interesting thing here to note XM from our list here today. So, one of the things we really wanted to do is clear out 15. It's riding its VWAP here. So, the first move here was down. Volume still elevated compared to its average. That's what we want to see. We'd love to see this really expand. We'd love, again, love to see the, the volume here expand. But the fact that we're actually holding above the VWAP here, pretty encouraging. In fact, if you're going to trade this to the long side, stop might be below VWAP here. I might even put this down maybe 1425 just to make sure that you would have to actually break the wicks of these candles in order to be stopped out. I'm not sure if that's going to fit with your risk profile, given that that's, you know, 40 cents, 20, 35 cents away. Um, so anyway, as long as this can stay above VWAP, maybe we get a volume expansion here. Maybe it's one of those that happens later in the day, as opposed to this morning, and we can get a nice trade here on XM. So no position on XM, but definitely watching this one. Encouraged to see it building above VWAP. 52 week high on Exxon Mobil. We've been talking about would it get through the 114.58. Chevron giving it the lift today, of course, with their uh, buyback mentioned. That's actually pulling back a little bit, but uh, it definitely got the lift there. Exxon Mobil is up towards 116. Now, go back to VWAP. If you guys are looking at oil names today. We'll see if Chevron's uh, mention of that buyback value to drive there. Tesla coming back above VWAP. That doesn't look too bad. Um, we'll see if that drives through 161. NVIDIA Mitch, trying to balance out over 197. Mitch, internet man, is your, horrible. Your internet is hurting right now. I can't even get your charts up. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to drive for you. As you mentioned, tickers, I'll bring them up here on my chart. So if you want to specify a ticker in a time frame, I'm happy to do that. I can't even get your charts to load, my man. No worries. Uh, we'll, we'll, I'll back out in a second. I'll come back in. I'm just trying to right. figure we'll out hold what down to do the with fort here. We'll hold down the fort here. Charge point rejected off of that's uh, resistance area, which was in PayPal. Let's see if we can figure out. Yeah, Mitch is completely frozen on my screen now. Uh, PayPal coming back in towards its VWAP here. Uh, let me turn view up off while we're on the daily chart here. Uh, does look like it's doing a nice job kind of basing and trading sideways here. PayPal, this is this is a stock, this is a service that I've used for a long time. And it's done a lot of good things for me. And I really want to be a believer. I'm just not sure if I'm there yet. Just not sure if I'm there yet. Uh, I would love to see this curl up and get some strength, but not sure if we're there yet. We'll check back in on Mitch's trade when he resolves his internet issue. Here we go. PayPal now continuing to pull back, uh, doing that with the market, by the way. Spy doing the exact same thing, looking around Tesla, Apple, uh, Square, actually Bitcoin as well. Um, that has the all pulling back here. All pulling back here. Uh, NVIDIA. Someone asked about NVIDIA earlier. Let's take a look at NVIDIA. That's doing the same thing here. Don't. It's still up. Still up, but we are pulling back. This might go green to red. Um, we'll see. Ah, okay, you guys. Beach Bum. First of all, great to see you here, Beach Bum. Hopefully the beach is treating you nicely. SOXS. Uh, great, great call there on SOXS. Um, we, I didn't cover these here this morning because I didn't really have a feel for which way the market was going to go in either direction. Uh, but buying this while it was, oh man, th this was the trade. Buying the, Remember, we said that this looked like this wanted to go. I had brought up SQQQ as well. The charts said that they looked like they wanted to go, really needed a breakdown in the broader market. That's exactly what we got. So nice trade here. You know, one of the things, just kind of looking at this chart, one of the things that I've noticed is that these, these ETFs, Really, all you need to trade these is VWAP. Any time that they get extended from VWAP or too extended from VWAP, they just they often return. Now, if we look at yesterday here, this SOXS continued to try and pull away from that VWAP. Uh, today, right back to it, right above it. Uh, I would imagine that we continue to build above here. Market uh, market definitely looking weak. Still up from yesterday's close, but uh, definitely getting weak.
Tom, Tom uh, good morning. One of our happy hour regular contributors, Tom, real sharp guy with the uh, economic stuff as well, has a keen eye to the broader market. Love to see it here, Tom. Uh, Andy's going to be happy. Yeah, I think so. I believe he took uh, SOXS. Uh, overnight, <laughs> Cindy, where, where si? I don't know why I think this is so funny, but it's great. Um, so yeah, wear socks. Uh, Soxs definitely seems to be the play here recently. Uh, this is the one that I've I've preferred. So, uh, change agent saying PayPal expanding in Europe. Suddenly, so many options to use from bus tickets to marathon reg registration. Berlin calling. Okay, that's good to know. I actually didn't know that. Uh, let me ask you, is PayPal an efficient way for people in Europe to transfer and convert currency to, let's say, USD, right? So I, I and I'll give you a little bit of background for this. One of my longtime friends, one of my best friends of all time, uh, lives in London. I don't get to see him very often. Thankfully, uh, we communicate on a daily basis, and he plays in all my fantasy leagues. So that's great. But the, it makes the buy-in a little bit troublesome, right? It's hard to kind of convert and send all that. I really wish that there was a service, or maybe I, I really wish PayPal was the service, that allowed you to very easily transfer currencies between one or another. Let me know if that's uh, possible. I don't think that it is. John D says no in caps. Okay. 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 Socks now coming back uh, towards its view app here. Looking around. Market is trying to bounce. We'll see if it ends up able to do that. Yeah, PayPal is not known for its efficiency, exchange rate, or any other rates. That's that's what I mean, Mingo. If that would, to me, that would be a, a bull case here. Ah, interesting on the spy here. Coming back into view app and bouncing. Trying to hold that 400 level. Trying to stay above 400. It did it again. It did it again. Come on. Come on. I was trying to click the daily chart. You all saw it. I have witnesses. Um, okay. Yeah. You know, for I think really looking at the daily, the daily candle here, really, as long as we stay above these green candles, I think we're good to the upside. Uh ES trying to reverse off yesterday's high. Bingo. You guys are so C-U-E-N. This was halted, huh? Another penny stock here? Okay. So maybe we're back to penny stock land where these really uh, make big moves. So nice push here. Went as high as what, 112, 111? Interesting, C-U-E-N. I'm going to pass on this. What does this company do, by the way? What does C-U-E-N do? FinTech e-banking and e-commerce service provider for proprietary technology aimed at providing solutions for the underbanked and unbanked Hispanic and Latino population. Okay, so this looks like interesting. Well, this is having a nice day here. Was there news on this, or is this just kind of like a a pump, like a pumpy thing? Yeah, there's no no news here, at least not that I can find. Let's check back in on XM. Okay, XM, that's not what we wanted to see. So this is actually breaking down a little bit. We wanted this to curl back towards 15. We're not seeing it. Not seeing it yet. Chris oh. says, Chris says bear trap. It's a trap. It's a trap. That was not fun, team. Ooh, Mitch is back. What happened? Um, my internet went down there for a little bit, and I lost an extra 40 cents, like 30 cents. Not fun. Not fun at all. That's what happens. It just dropped completely all together there. I couldn't, like even, I couldn't even get an order in there. I'm probably still lagging a little bit. No, you, you sound all right now. Change agent saying his internet is lagging too. Laura saying, yes, PayPal does. Is that for the, the currency conversion? Is that what you're referring to? I do it all the time. Interesting. So maybe I'm just doing something wrong then. That's possible. Getting the downturn there. Ain't looking bueno. No, and you know what? You know what else is is interesting here. So first of all, SOXS that was the trade. 
Um, I didn't, didn't hit it today, but kudos to you. Was that Beach Bum? I think you were a Beach Bum. Easy Mike, were you on that as well? Oh, no, you were training Boyle. So speaking of Boyle, speaking of Boyle, there, oh, God, look at this SOX history. Wear socks. Wear socks. Oh, man, I'm, I'm actually a little bit disappointed that I missed this one today. I'm a little off my game here this morning. A little. A little off my game here this morning. Bad time to lose internet. Yeah, Kaylee, every time is a bad time to lose internet, as far as I'm concerned, but you're right. Um, Eco Solution saying, thank you for the SQQ you mentioned. Was considering it right when you mentioned it and took a position, made a few bucks. There we go. There we go. Let's go. That's what I wanted to hear. Intr Laura saying, there is a feature that I send payment in dollars and switch to euros or any any currency. Man, Laura, okay, Laura, I, I will look into this again. I was hoping it was going to be something that seems that easy, right? You just, you send the payment. It converts it to whatever currency, whatever the exchange rate is. Just a big button that says go, right? I press the button. It sends the money. That's that's what I was looking for. Yeah, Daddy Backstrap, my apologies. I was trying to just repeat the – I'm not sure that this is – remember, my overall feeling is that we do probably go lower here. And one of the things that I kind of set the stage with here is when we're talking about some of these prints is that the, while the market was reacting to it well to it, still kind of seems like it's got inf a little bit of an inflationary feel to it. Um, just just my own two cents. We, I'm, I, we're coming in here. We'll see, though. I didn't mean to shake you out of your trade. I hope I didn't. Just wanted to repeat the uh, just wanted to repeat the comment that one of the other chatters made. Plus, it gave me an excellent opportunity to use the Admiral Akbar sound drop, which you folks know that I love. <laughs> uh, Edson Ryan, I send money to Brazil. I use Remitly. Remitly, okay, I can look up Remitly. At least look into it. Appreciate that. Paul saying PayPal conversion rates are bad. <laughs> like fatality. Oh man. Do they have Cash App in that country, Ryan? I would imagine it's the UK. I would imagine they have to. I should ask him if he's got a Cash App. That might be an easy solution. Once again, uh, bringing problems to the community here and getting a ton of great, diverse answers from our community here. Folks are awesome. All right, so we'll awesome. see. We do get a bounce. It just seems like it's just been a slow leak down here from the open. Yep. We'll see if we get it to come back or not. It's trying to bounce now, but you're right. Let's see if it holds, Mitch. And by the way, your charts are snappy and responsive now. So I think whatever issue you had is resolved, at least temporarily. E yeah, but the fun part <laughs> is now to take a trade. It's just like, uh, <laughs> probably not going to. Mitch is like, I don't know. I was already kind of slapped around today. It's not even that. Is that if I would have got out where I would have got out, it would have been way different. It's like losing two trades on one with that lovely internet lag versus, you know, losing one trade there. And what was annoying is that, like, my orders were just, like, freezing up. That's when you get really annoyed. Like, I had some internet, and that's the hard part. Like, it just the order wasn't showing up. That's how it is sometimes. Let's see what Mara and Riot are doing. For, by the way, now, so now we had that push right out of the open, regression back towards the mean, totally normal trading behavior. In fact, tried to come back to the view app, really couldn't quite get there. Okay, pretty interesting. But now actually broke above that high. So still some strength here and now. Probably should have looked to take calls here uh, on that dip. My fault. I, I, didn't, I didn't, I don't know. I just felt like maybe it was a little bit extended. I guess not. looking around out there to see the sectors and stuff like that only utilities in green from the open industrials down big basic materials down even bigger what's getting wrecked in basic materials is coal btu getting wrecked today team wrecked 
AMR is also down, CEIX, coal down about 3.23 from the open. Not looking good there. Big pullback there, BTU. Copper, big pullback. FCX, SCCO, finally kind of letting go of that big rip that it's been doing. Now it's pulling back there. You can see it on FCX. Look at SCCO coming back towards support. We'll look to see if it holds at 74. It's right on there right now. Look to see if it bounces off of that. You folks that are asking for Roku, what, what are we looking at here? Roku. Yeah, there's a number of people in the chat have asked to check out Roku, and, and I'm not sure why. Not, a great move off 40 here, um, but really just kind of in the chop zone right now. I don't see any clear spy signal here or sell signal for that matter. I was wondering what you guys are looking at. Didn't didn't get any other context to that. Just wanted to see the stock on the screen. I can understand that. Oh wow, easy mic. Kobe's passing was through, or MD Kobe's passing was three years ago today. God, I remember that. That was I was super sad. Yeah, the Mamba. Super, Mamba super lives forever, that man. Was, that was a rough day. That was a rough day. Rip indeed, easy mic. Look to see if the spy comes back now. Look, oh my god! Look at bottom. Tide. Look at Tide. So I often, I, I it's I often sound. Let's see if it changes the ticker. No, I often sound critical when I talk about penny stocks, and I talk about how they often don't behave the way that I think, or or I'm not successful with trading them. My profits, I, I don't have profits. I have more losses uh, than anything else. This is kind of it, right? Look at this. Look at this move here on Tide. So we're holding, takes the leg up. We hold it. Out of the open, we actually punch through and take out this entire range only to get yanked. And now we've continued to bleed all the way back. This is a graphical representation of why I normally do not trade these. Now, I understand they don't all behave like this. I get it. But more often than not, I get behavior that is unanticipated and causes me to take losses. Um, cryptide, not, not good, not good, not good. Oh, what just happened with XM there? Seeing the spy start showing a little bit of reversal action, but I'm not sure if it's going to be strong enough to get it back towards the VWAP. It's kind of slower still. Tom, uh, petty stocks trade wildly on sideward momentum days. Traders are bored. Yeah, I get that impression too. Okay, XM, yeah. No, this is, it's not showing the strength that it needs. You guys were saying Roku was upgraded today. Let's take a look here and see what those upgrades entail. Ah, need them. Okay. So this is a reiteration of a buy rating and maintaining a price target. So I actually think that that's not technically an upgrade. Uh, no, no, no. Yeah. So it's not actually an upgrade. It's a reiteration, but it, but to be fair, to be fair, it's a reiteration of a buy rating. And I believe what's the percent upside from this? Uh, 20% upside from the current price right now. When it still has 20% upside on that re reiteration. I wonder when, when did they, when did they first post that? Needham. Was that this November? Yeah. Yeah. They, oh no, they maintained the buy. Maintained the buy. They've basically just been adjusting the price target here. Needham. Probably been covering this for a while. Spy heading back down here. It's like on a five minute bounce. It's trying to hold the reversal, but they didn't even come back to the VWAP there. Could take out the lows now. It's going fast towards 401.20s. We'll look to see if 401 holds. That's where the wick went last time. Chart in the middle tells you spy. You'll see it. Moderna heading down there. I was even looking to see if maybe like Lucid was going to bounce back there, but didn't want to. Look to see if this 401 holds right now on the spot. We'll look to see if we get the bounce. 
it'd be kind of really uh kind of messed up if we just keep coming down all day today but there's been selling wicked selling in the 400s a lot of people taking profits i think in the bigger names like institutional names Right now, we're just sideways on that 401.26 level around there. NVIDIA trying to hold on there, but I, I, you know, the spike goes through that 401. I don't think NVIDIA will hold either. Let's look to Tesla. Tesla's now to 155.67. Uh, Let's use maybe a little retracement tool. We're back towards 38.2%. Uh, That's right underneath the 155. 50% would put us closer towards 152. So we'll see if we get back towards 50% retracement on Tesla. I do think some dip buyers probably come in right around the 153 area. If we start getting down there, we'll look to see if we even get down towards 152.50. Um, real quickly, I want to just do something on Roku. So basically what I did here is I went in and I filtered up this calendar so I could only see the Needham ratings. And my suspicion was correct. So they initiated coverage in October of 2017, and they've either maintained or reiterated their buy rating this entire time and just adjusted their price target. So this is not a bad thing, but I think that this is probably why the reaction here is somewhat muted. I guess it's still up 3% versus a market that has been pulling back from the open, but the, I don't know. Uh, I, I don't know how much stock I would put into the uh, reiteration today. Just the adjusted price target is all that really happened. XM dropping here. Let's check in on SNOA and see what that, oh, 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 oh. I spent too much time on Roku, it looks like. SNOA really, really get going here through that 180 spot. Right up, right up to mm. the resistance level from yesterday. So this range in here getting cleared out. Let's see if we pop above here. Uh, volume not expanding yet. It's definitely higher, but I want to see more of this. I want to see more of this. GNS, by the way, knifing back towards four here. Let's see if it can hold four. Let's see if SNOA, I want to watch the level two and see if I can discern anything from it. 401 holding for the spy right now. It seems like an important level. We have a couple of wicks there on the five minutes. Uh, nothing closing below that 401. Something definitely to keep your eyes on. We'll look to see if we get some ramp back up towards the upward side now as you see more bottoming around that 401 for the market. That bounce didn't look very strong. BZFD, that's that BuzzFeed. It's right on the VWAP. Um, a lot of like kind of up and down moves in that one. Yeah, BuzzFeed moving around a lot, but I don't see some edge there on that chart right now. Spy still fighting 401s right now. Show Spy you guys that in the middle. Go lower here. Just just fights 401s right now. Look to see if we go lower. Look at it on the five minute here. Look at all these wicks. Wick, 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 wick. Look to see if we get reversal or if we crack that. I think we'll start leaking maybe even through the 400. But right now it's looking like it is are trying to set up as close to possible towards that 401 we're going to look to see if we start getting some swings back up here might take some quick shots where the risk has to be really tight but it's for reversal style action whenever i do reversal style trades i'm going to stay really really tight to the risk and reward and just look to see if we get reversal especially from the index SNOA trying, trying to make a move towards two here. Volume is trying. I'd like to see some big blocks hit the tape. That would really, really help. That would give me some confidence to actually long the sucker right here. 
especially right beneath this spot. Amazon pulled back there towards 98.40 area. That's where I could see some support happen, if not towards 98.25, somewhere in between there. We'll look to see if it turns back around, gets through 99. We got almost to that 100. We went to 99.50. So if we get back through that high today, then we could make a run towards 100 on Amazon. Just want to put different style trades, right? I'm looking at Lucid Reversal, Amazon. We're going from a $98 stock to a $9 stock. You guys choose your own investment decisions. We'll see if we get that turnaround. I'm going to start taking my shot here in Lucid. I could also kind of get some Amazon here. We'll do a little bit of both. I'll tell you, SNOA is trying here, but it really is going to need to take out 190 and then 196 and then two. So all three of those things are going to have to happen for this to move. And it's going to need volume to do all three of those. All right, just got a little bit of Amazon, a little bit of Lucid, 893s, 9859. Starting to see the spy come back. You can see that bottoming action, 401. Now I want to see that 401 hold here on the day. Start getting us back through the VWAP, right? Look for Lucid to get back there. The first VWAP is 906. Then from there, we can really start pushing back for 920s. Amazon chart here is good also. Got a little bit of a piece to hit down here below the VWAP. I want to see it get back above VWAP. That's going to matter a lot here. If we can get back above VWAP, then we really start seeing maybe that run. Man, Mitch, it's really bad. Really, really bad. <laughs> again, um, I, see yeah. it. I can see it literally. It just went down to unstable again. Just so be careful, I'm going to back out. Yeah, I'm going to back out, team, because I'm going to be worried more about my trades here. It's just how it is, team. Yeah, I, I got you. Just, just, don't, just don't get yourself hurt. Just don't get yeah, yourself yeah, hurt. I'm going to back out. I, and I know that sometimes even in the stream sometimes makes me want to trade. So just give me a second, team. I'm going to focus on it. I'll be right back. <laughs> oh, the, the, at least he's honest. Being in the stream makes me want to trade. Yeah, that's my issue too. <laughs> uh, but but seriously, be careful. Someone wanted to take a look at Plug here. Not sure why. This is kind of ugly. Uh, Sam, would you please take a look at Plug? Sam, what's the context here, my man? What is the context here? Plug breaking down here. Uh, on higher volume than yesterday, too. Was there maintain JP Morgan maintaining o an overweight but lowering the price target? That seems to be dragging it down here on plug. Revenue 3.3 .3 million, market cap of 5.2. No, that can't be. Really? Interesting. Interesting. Yeah, sorry about the breaking up. I'm trying to let Mitch talk about his trades, but if he's completely inaudible and his charts aren't working, then there's only so much we're going to be able to do. We'll try and hold the fort down here. Bitcoin looks like it's bouncing. Let's check in on Mara and Riot and see how those are doing. I also trying to bounce here. It looks like Bitcoin's just moving with the market here today. Not really doing anything on its own. SNOA really struggling. Doesn't have the juice yet. GNS continues to break down. Now sub four. A lot of these smaller stocks here are pretty weak today. XM bounced back towards VWAP, but didn't clear out that formation. Mara here, um, really not... Still fairly strong. I mean, it, off its highs, but um, not not really breaking down. Uh, Sam saying, I'm still holding this ugly stock since 28. Not sure if I need to just sell it. Sam, I cannot help you with your buy and sell decisions. Those are going to be completely up to you. We do not give advice here. Um, what I will say is, is what's the thesis on the trade, right? If your thesis was, well, just to make more money and the stock's been cut in half, that's not looking all that great. If there's a longer term thesis about what the company's doing, maybe it's product roadmap, something of that nature, then I would say, are you still on track for that thesis? Um, market's gone through some wild swings here. 
and it's punished a lot of stocks. If the thesis is still intact, perhaps your investment is still intact, but that's a question for you to answer, my man. Mingo, take care of yourself. Thanks for stopping by here today. Have a great one. Stay green. We'll see you again. Thanks for all your support. Let's take a look here. Tesla trying to curl. Yeah, market's trying to curl up here. Market's trying to curl up here. Tesla moving with it. I don't I don't feel great about anything here. I don't feel great about anything here. Not seeing anything out there. Uh D saying thoughts on GLD going below 179. GLD, I don't even know if I have that ticker here as part of this this feed. Oh, yep, that's the spider ETF. My apologies. Um I'm not sure. Uh, I mean, I, I don't. Not sure where these are going. Uh, you're 79 cents away from 79, and you've had quite a run here uh, in gold recently. Let's take a look. So off the bottom here, gold over the course of the last 92 days up 20 percent. Um, that doesn't really seem all that terrible. I I don't. You're asking. Thoughts on gold going below 179, and I can easily see it going below 179. I guess my only follow-up question, I don't know if it's going to stay there here. To be honest, I don't trade uh, I don't trade gold. I don't trade gold, and I don't have really an angle on this. If the group has something here for uh, 4D, please let them know. Please let them know. Tesla to the moon. The voice of Mitch in the back. <laughs> What's up, dude? You're not back, though. I'm back. I, not not I, back. I hear you. I don't see you. Uh, yeah, something. No, no, no. I took my camera down. Oh, okay. You're not going to see okay. me. You're not going to see me. I, I'm trying to save some of the internet, focus on the trades. But I wanted to be part of the show, man. Oh, we appreciate it, my man. We appreciate it. The Crow saying moves coming later in the day, Ryan. We had GovX, COSM start running around 1, 2 p.m. as well as Mullen. So did Mullen go yesterday? I, I've kind of blocked Mullen out of yeah, my there mind. Was, there was a, an announcement, I think um, like a speech or something that was given yesterday in the afternoon. You can see it in our overview on, of course, Benzinga Pro. You guys can catch that on the tape. And that's what gave it a little bit of a lift yesterday. Yeah. Okay. So Mullen announced the results of the special meeting of shareholders. What happened there? Company has no plans at the current time to affect a reverse split. Okay. So no wonder the market likes that reverse splits often the death knell of some of these stocks. Yeah. Ah, so if the share price of the company's stock falls short of the requirement, the company intends to seek an extension from NASDAQ to meet um to meet the required threshold so that would uh, that extension would basically give them to september 6th all right team i just cut lucid break even because it wasn't moving with the the kind of the move here in the spy so i'm still staying in my amazon trade though because that looks 10 times better so i'm just going to keep in that one that's at 98 60s we'll look to see if that gets and holds this 99 gets back up there towards 9950s could get a hundred run spy needs to keep pushing though we're back towards the foil too nice little article here on why you should steer clear of mullen interesting that is an investor's place article by the way content did not originate from benzinga so don't be mad <laughs> I tried oh, to get gosh. Hell's Biz CEO on. He was talking about like shorts and stuff. I hit him up, team. I try to do it all the time for you guys out there. Wow. Look at look at now. What a what a move today is now. <laughs> yeah, they just bought the Jeez. dip, man. They bought that sure dip. did. Destroyed people if you were short in that thing, man. This is a 70 point move from the bottom print in the after hour session yesterday. 70 point move. That's crazy. And I mean, when you read the, I don't know if you saw the earnings, the earnings weren't bad. So I don't know why they hit it in the first place. 
that's kind of what I was looking at. I didn't understand the initial reaction here, right? And like, in addition to the earnings, I mean, they, it was beat. Sales were in line. Um, the, the you know this guide doesn't look bad. Then you had all these officers buying up stock. Ah, uh, yeah, that's I don't get it. Oh, new steel name up almost seven percent here today. Nasdaq yesterday wasn't Nas. Let me we'll take a look at that. Oh, new. This is actually a pretty good chart. Newcore shares are trading higher. If the company reported better than expected Q4 EPS and sales results, that was this morning at the conference call here this afternoon. There might be some more action here in new. Right through the trend, right to the trend line in Amazon. We'll look to see if that can kind of keep pushing here. Let me go ahead. Let me try sharing my screen. I think that's when we're going to run, start running into issues, but I'll try to do my best here. Uh, Amazon lifting there. We'll look to see if we can continue. We're down here in the 9860. I'm looking for that to see if I can get there to 100 today. Spy holding in right now. I know someone mentioned CEIX. We'll look to see if that reverses. Uh, but look, nice little push there now. The spy. Look to see if Tesla's coming back, right? Tesla is back above VWAP. Look to see if that pushes towards the high, 161.16. All right, going to put my screen down here and put Ryan's back up. I'm just going to try to mix in. I'll come in and out to make sure that, that my internet doesn't give up. That last one looked good, Mitch. I, I don't, I mean, you, group, you tell me if you saw it already. I saw everything fine on my end. Uh, yeah. Jay Rice saying, now always trades well on earnings. I'm going to remember that. In fact, let me go ahead and add that as a note because I don't trade now enough. And this is, this is some good. Some good information to have there for a stock that I don't regularly follow. So appreciate that, Jay. MLGO curling. Okay, finally. So that was one of the stocks off the list here, Crow. We're finally getting that. Maybe you might be right. All of these moves here happen in, later in the day. So here's the ah, I see what you're seeing here too, right? This sideways formation getting taken out. You're right. A break above 280 here. Maybe we've got something going here on MLGO. By the way, XM trying to take its VWAP out to the upside. So we'll see if we get that as well. Just took some profit there on Amazon 99.29. We'll look to see if we get through the high of the day and continue. Spy is ramping. Uh, Tesla's holding that VWAP now. We'll look to see if we keep pushing. Spy, can you get back to 404? Uh, Jay saying, Ryan, Christian Fromhertz has the data on now earnings. Okay, that if it's coming from Christian, then it's good. That guy is an ace. Absolute ace. Yeah, he's only he's one of the only few traders that I actually watch their recaps, right? Yep. And, and there's very he's... few traders that I'll let you know that I, I like, literally I watch them just like I would watch my own, Bro. right? And one of the things that I think is very important is find people that you – trade similarly to see if they're seeing the same thing that you're seeing this is one of the best ways i feel like to find confirmation especially on like let's say relative strength things um we'll look to see if we can continue spies pulling back a little bit tesla's around 158.93 uh, i'm glad i took a little bit of profit there on amazon because it's already pulling back to 99s we'll see if this can hold vwap from here on out crow great shout here on mlgo great way to recognize that curl you hit that really at just the right time this move through 180 took this out we went as high as what 297 i think a three test here is probably on deck on mlgo and if you're looking at that one why not look at the leader right like las vegas sands it's still in the red still not above the vwap it could make that move above vwap and get through 57 here we'll see what happens of course that one had earnings today so it's already been getting the lift could be a little bit of a pullback on it. Just keep in mind. So that's MLCO. Melco. Oh, I, Geo. Ha ha, you this see? Micro you see? algo. You, you know what happened there? The I, I I have yours a little bit smaller. So the candle kind of blocked out some of the G. <laughs> I saw C. Also, when I said MLGO, that sounds like MLCO. So fair enough. This uh, chain... was a good. It happens. I need to put uh, Ryan full screen. Now I got him full screen here. Yeah. I don't need to go full screen. <laughs> All right, back to 99 there on Amazon, holding the pull back there. We'll look to see if we get another ramp. Spies pulling back. 
Las Vegas Sands down to 56 89. We'll look to see if it gets through 57. Another one to look at there is, of course, um, what's the other one? What's the other major one? Uh, there's LVS and there's, ah, forgetting it right now. So Bed Bath & Beyond is holding up here, right? Right at its view app. Not Blood Bath & Beyond, at least not yet. Here goes MLGO uh, <laughs> going towards that 297 here. Going to try to break that to the upside. We're four cents away. I'm going to try to get a read there, see if there's any big sell wall here. Well, uh, MLCO is doing good right too. All right, we'll see what continues in the market. Spy pulling back there. We hold this 99 for Amazon. Here we go. Going for three here. Decent prints here. Nice. We're seeing this. Look at the, the action here in MLGO. No coincidence it's corresponding with this volume. Let's see if we can get over this. They're definitely adding more stock to sell here at this 192, 193 area. PDD having a really good day there. There is. PDD has had a huge bounce off that Chinese internet name liquidation. And look at that lovely chance to 100 that you got today. You got through the 100, came right back to the 100, going to a low of 99.90, right back up towards 101.37. So not a bad little move up there. That one stays strong. Maybe we look for Baba or JD to play catch up. Still looking at MLGO here. It's holding this this leg up. I think if really if we break down past this 285, it's probably done. There's 285. This push seemed promising, but didn't just didn't have the juice. And this is kind of what I mean about watching that volume, right? We did not have the big volume. We did have it expand a little bit, but we didn't have that big expansion that we really wanted to see to take us higher here. Looks like MLGO doesn't have the strength on this push. Let's see if we can turn that around here. Back up to 290. A little bit of size here at 292. That's gone. Okay, so they took the size to the upside here. Refilled it at 293, though. It looks like there's still plenty of stock there. Yep, still there at 293. Ah, bringing in a bid now here at 293 after clearing that out. Okay, maybe this is it now. Maybe this is where we... Nope. <laughs> Man, I'm just going to stop guessing. Looking to see if JD can pull back a little bit here. I don't mind that one since PDD is so strong. Uh, I like the 62 support on the hourly. We'll see what happens on there. Melly looking good there. Mercado Libre. Nice little pattern, but that's just too expensive stock. I, I can't take a shot on that. I haven't been able to buy a stock like that ever. That's like buying AZO right now. Just can't go for it. I, I've never bought a stock that's a, like, let's say, a thousand dollar stock. Here we go, MLGO. It's trying. It wants to go above three. Let's see if we get a pop above three. That would be sweet, especially if we got that with with alongside volume. That might send it a little bit further. Yeah, Sabrina, that's that's pretty much it. You're, the volume spikes that you're seeing are on the down moves, making it hard to really do some good upside trades here. So here we are at three on the MLGO. 
A little bit tougher of a trade here, though. In honor of Zunaid, who's not here, MLGO can't figure out what it wants to do with its life. Amazon bounced when it came back to VWAP, so that's at least a good-looking sign there for Amazon. Now we'll look for it to hold. It really looks like we want to see five-minute closing above 99 to look us that we're, that we're taking it, that bulls have control to 100. We'll see if we get that move. I did take some profit near the high of the day. Now we'll look to see if it really ramps, right? And I'll leave the rest of those shares to kind of get to 100. If I can do that, I can be back in the green today. So taking my one trade there to give me the shot, we'll see what happens. They're trying, man. This is a, this is a battle here. Spy really, overall, just like... we'll look to see if we get back up. MLGO still? Yeah, we're they're, they're trying. It's trying to grind towards the 315 high now. So what we're looking at here, I mean, I, I'm I, I definitely I definitely thought that this was gonna kind of roll over. It's it's punched through, but it just doesn't have that big volume juice that we're really waiting for. 315, the next spot here. It is definitely grinding towards that. We'll see if it can pop above. Snow starting to push team. That makes me feel like maybe some reversals can come in. But yeah, Snow having a good day today. So maybe look at that one. It's Pan W doing well. Yeah, Pan W doing well today. Maybe Crowd Strike starting to get that nice little lift. We'll see what happens on a name like that. Cedric, uh, great question here. Sorry for being unclear. I actually do not have an active position in MLGO. I didn't. I was watching this curl here, and I'm kind of c calling out the different levels and stuff that I see here. Uh, sorry for being unclear. I am not long this stock right now. No position here. In fact, I've made no trades here today. I'm kind of gun shy a little bit this morning. Still trying to participate on some of the setups that we see here, but for myself, I'm a, a little bit gun shy. So. Sorry, if, sorry for uh, being unclear there, Cedric. All right, just taking a look to going. see if I'm going to get into any other trades here. I think uh, Amazon's already working there. I want to see it just keep going up. Spy trying to make an up move. We'll see if we get through the five-minute highs of 403.22 and 403.25 here. Doesn't look too bad. Also, just trying to keep and watch what is doing well right now versus, you know, trying to catch things out the bottom. Nucor really strong there. Steel, Steel Dynamics had uh, earnings. Nucor had earnings there. So you're seeing Steel have a good little move. I'm actually going to go with that one for an X pullback here. As uh, let's see if X going to give it to me here. Just thinking if I get in at the 50s or do I get in at the kind of 45 pullback right now. I already jumped to 53s, so it's going to make my decision really quickly here. There's your MLGO. So here we go. So we got the actual pop that we needed. That move through 115, or 315, excuse me, gave us the pop here. So I was I didn't take this one. I, I kind of got fooled on this one, to be honest. Uh, great job, Wiss. Great job. For any of you that hit this, this was it, right? So when we were holding up in this area, when we were holding – this next leg higher that's initially what made me think that we were going to break out of this formation and pop to the upside now we got a fake out pop right here right let me zoom in so it's easier for you folks to see we got this fake out pop right here and then in the very next candle it actually looked like we were going to break down out of this formation this just goes to show you though that these numbers are not set in stone so we did actually break the bottom of this by one cent but the very next candle, they were able to recover that, and that started the grind higher. Not only did we go through three, but we got through 315 and actually popped as high as 329 there. So very decent trade here. Sorry I didn't do a good enough job trading this. I would have liked to have done this with you and called out the entries on here. Um, but this is this this one, this definitely faked me out. Plan here was good. Um, and 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 even you know, looking at this. It's kind of what we've been talking about, about some of these stocks making their move a little bit later. There was an attempt here to take out 315 right off the open, but we just were not strong enough for that. And in fact, we pulled almost all the way back to 250. So a pretty decent pullback retracement here. Traded sideways for a while. And now on the push up here, the first leg here did come on volume, but it was a little bit shaky in this consolidation area. Ended up working 
um, and, and definitely ended up working here. I'll, I'll say this in retrospect, I'm really glad that I didn't try to play this breakout and then take a loss down here because seeing this then resolve to the upside would have really made me upset. Uh, I can handle missing this one trade. It looks like we're trying to go higher here, by the way. Current price, 324. Looking for that 329 high here. Buying still looks good. Don't see any huge sell blocks either. Here's, here it comes. Here comes 329. Took it. 330 is a little bit more size there. They took that. Refilled it a little. So this one, this one might not be done yet here. Might not be done. Might, might not be done yet. Voodoo saying, Ryan, I made no trades today either. I don't like the market internals. Sox S was the only decent scalp I saw, but was late to the party and did not take it. Voodoo, you pretty much just read my uh, my morning here, right? Uh, I also, the SOXS was great. Um, we've been looking at that. We've hit that a few times recently. I was a little bit late to that, and I was not in the MLGO move here. So it's just, that's how it goes sometimes. Not, not, not the best day. Uh, in terms of gains, but they haven't lost anything yet. So we'll take that. We'll take that. All right. Looking right now at Valero, I might get in a shot on here off the 143 area. Um, Valero did have earnings today. I can go ahead and kind of make those roll by. You guys want to see that, but taking a look at it now, it did beat on EPS by like 60 cents. Sales. Uh, miss though and that's what got it hit in the kind of the pre-market we'll look to see if it takes off spy overall came back down stopped me out of amazon team i'm out of that rest of amazon uh spy just came down really quickly team so just be careful out there team hard candle on the five minute and just broke down there um glad i said stop there for break even on the rest there for amazon was able to get out, break even on the rest. And I do, I was able to make a profit, at least some of the loss back from the PayPal trade. Still Good, not back all the way. Back. Good call well, back there. Well, the, the, the truth is, is this, that, that if I would have been able to get out at my original exit point where I wanted on PayPal, this, that one half profit would be kind of uh, just, I'd be slightly in the red a couple of pennies, right? And so in my eyes, that's what's more important, right? Always keeping the risk preservation in mind because one trade can bring you back, right? Even a half size uh, getting out on that is going to bring me back really close to break even on a regular loss. This one was a little bit over that. So I still need to work back a little bit. And that was because of internet issues. But Hey, what you can't control, you can't control. Spy coming down fast, though, team. Just be careful there. Maybe the sock test off the BWAP was a really nice call. I don't know if you guys saw that. It just bounced off BWAP and starting to push strong towards 2440s. Man, that, so I see Easy Mike. I love this here. Uh, you're waiting for Boyle. It's destiny <laughs> now. A trade for destiny. Let me see if I can get some reverb on that to make that a little bit better. A oh, trade man. for destiny. Okay, anyway, uh, back to reality here. Boyle, I do. Uh, there are a couple of people in the happy hour that are also waiting for this to really take off. And obviously we're watching natural gas here. Natural gas, 286. Uh, on the natural gas futures here at some point at some point this has got to go right this is but you can't this is not one of those stocks that you can just buy and hold because this is a levered etf that's going to continue to decay if you don't get the timing right so tough to tough to trade here but i agree with your thesis mike at some point this has got to go and there it is again just changed my ticker again that's not what i wanted well, I'm I'm gonna make it a mission to get that bug hammered out. I am gonna find that gremlin and I am gonna squash it like a grape. Squash it, my friend. Squash it. But I mean, look at this. So look at this chart. Look at. I mean, at some point, this is gonna have to bounce. The bounce is likely to be ferocious. This is what you're waiting on, I'm sure. It's a hold your nose by now. Jay, fair point, Jay. So that's, this is a really good point. And, I, and I'm not, I'll be honest, I'll just straight up, I am not good at this. I am not good at buying levered ETFs when you're in that phase where you have to hold your nose and buy. I, I, I definitely have weak hands in this case. And I, but I know that about myself, so I'm not trying to force a trade on myself. I do, Easy Mike, keep us posted on this. I do like 
this. Tom, you, you can you can vouch for me. There, we talk about boil quite a bit. We talk about boil. We talk about natural gas in the happy hour quite a bit. I know that there are a number of traders in that program that are stalking entry here on boil. It's not just Andy, and it's not just you. There are going to be some other traders on there. So, I, I, at some point, this has got to go. I'm with you. I gave myself my level, and I'm, it's not yet. So I gave myself a level on UNG of 891. You can get through nine on UNG. We'll see if we ever get through there. We went to a low today of 922. Almost there on UNG, I think. That wow. was tough. MLGO, folks. MLGO. So just kind of reviewing the trade here. Uh, just again, real quick, the, this consolidation area, the break above at 280, that was the first leg up, consolidated again, got a fake out in there, which, which I admit did definitely faked me out, but we took that next leg up, boom, through 315, back tested 315, now we're pushing away from this, just a monster, MLGO, this was off of our list from this morning too, something we actually had flagged here, uh, happening now at 1030. By pulling back there be careful team it just seems like we're in a little bit of a battle zone um but at least the bears are not winning i would say that it's still a battle zone the bulls are still trying to play upside action but we haven't seen that real real big ramp up right we haven't gotten that moment this is where it gets tough because we're seeing a lot of action in after hours but not getting a lot right in the first couple hours of the market day this could be also another day where we see an afternoon style move right what happened yesterday well afternoon style move what usually happens in that retail traders go right and then institutions take control the computers take control and so just be careful there in the afternoon uh, things can change. I've been seeing more and more that maybe it might be smarter to have some afternoon style trading. For a long time, I felt afternoons were a loss. It's right now seeming like a better place to be. It, we, we've identified it with some of these smaller names too much. They seem to have the pop and the big move in the afternoon. And we try to talk about it as much as possible. Try to remind people to stay on top of it. By the way, SNOA trying to take out this 196 area. Grinding higher here. Let's see. Where would we go next on SNOA if we take that out? Let's figure that out. <sighs> okay, so we're pretty gappy up to like 240. Not not saying it's going to go straight there, but but pretty gappy up there. Let's take a look at the five minutes and see. Uh, yeah, you probably, maybe you'll find some resistance here, 215-ish. How much I'm seeing right now, team, it's looking like a slow leak down, but not just a breakdown either. And so it's tough on both sides. PBR halted pending news, says Jay Wild. Hmm. Doesn't look like there was any big move right before it. Yeah, I was we'll looking at it. Yeah, we'll see what that news pending is. Yeah, Mark, nice job. You, Everyone here that hit MLGO, congratulate yourself. Um, just awesome stuff here. Uh, awesome stuff. And, and, I, and then the other thing that I really like to see here is that although I did a poor job, um, actually trying to to trade this here today, not taking a trade on it. Um, the rest of you were able to actually get something off of it. And that's awesome. That's that's really awesome. So we're going to keep doing this. Um, even if I fail, that doesn't mean that you folks have to fail. Taking a shot on Valero here off of 143.16. VLO, huh? VLO had earnings today. Um, just talked about that a little while ago. Um, so we'll look to see if we get back up there towards 147. Risk is 143. Remember, this has a spread that's about 20 cents wide. I would say about 24 cents right now, but just roughly 24, 25 cent spread. Be careful out there. Taking my shot on Valero 
back to the upside. We'll see what happens. Oil names, can they stay strong? I want to see XOM continue through the high. It's pushing up there towards 116. So XOM, Exxon Mobil, 52-week high. We talked about that this morning on pre-market prep. Uh, would Chevron get Exxon Mobil to a new 52-week high? Well, there you see it. Let me go ahead and bring up XOM. Sorry, I was, You're good. I was no off on one of my space walks, as Sydney likes to say. I tell you what, Twitter can be a black hole, right? You just start reading stuff and before you know it, too much time has passed. You're like, oh, okay, back to reality here. <laughs> uh, that's just how it goes. PDD 102 now. Yeah, wow, PDD, PDD nice move here on PDD. Uh, 100 pullback. And uh, of course, who was talking about Chinese stocks yesterday? Christian Fom hurts. <laughs> Guys, I told you, aces. Just an ace. And which one was he talking about specifically? PDD. PDD. You know it, Ryan. You know it, my friend. There's a reason why, team. If you don't know Tribeca Trading Group, you might want to know it. Very few trading groups that I've been like, man, hmm, want to get in there. Yeah, I think one of the things with that afternoon trading is that a lot of retails has a tendency of not being able to stick around all day, right? We get yeah. bored. We get to this Ooh. point when we're like, okay, I'm done with the market. And then that's usually when the computers take control and all of a sudden we get this kind of Nice big push, right? We'll see what happens after that. Uh, Voodoo saying uh, VLO coiling, but looks like more downside to 141.08 possible. Yeah, it's possible. I, I definitely think it could go right back down to those levels. I actually have a, a level right there, 142.09. So looks like uh, I'm looking at it slightly above for it to maybe hold there. We'll see. I mean, all, all Valero is more along is that the earnings weren't that bad. And I think it could get right back up there to the high. We'll see, if, especially if the oil trade does well today. Uh, I want to see Gush get back over VWAP. Gush is right at VWAP. That can give us some good sign if you're looking at some oil names to see if they continue higher. Spy overall just bouncing around in kind of a top zone, but at least staying above 400. That's what I talked about early on in pre-market. If we could stay above 400, the bulls are still in. They just... It seems like a lot of times we're just not getting that drive where the bulls want to just drive, but it's usually happening a little bit later in the day. Some NFL news, Mitch. NFL news. Dun, yes, dun, dun. Nathaniel Hackett hired as the Jets offensive coordinator. So let the rumors start swirling about Aaron Rodgers to the Jets. Yeah, they pretty much did that on purpose, right? Yeah, that is next, folks. That is going to be... That is going to be on every sports show that you watch for the next couple of days here. I think hack it's a hack, but I won't talk about it. But I agree with you. It is cold-blooded, but I agree with you. He he, he had De Devontae Adams. Let me just say that. And uh, what would uh, Aaron Rodgers do about eight or ten out of the ten times? Just throw it up to Devontae, right? That's right. The thing is that Aaron's so accurate versus like a car that isn't as accurate and can't put up those jump balls as good as Aaron Rodgers can. Aaron Rodgers is probably one of the best at just throwing up a jump ball for you. Well, big thing that they did were the timing and the routes. They, they were, that was unguardable because they were in such coordination that you could. he was so good at getting separation, just one step from a DB, and Aaron would put that ball. Like you were saying, it was accurate. We would put that ball right on him. Yeah, right. Right, uh, right. Not only the spot that he could grab. Uh, and and real quick here, by the way, just so you all you folks know, I I don't really see a whole lot of anything on my scanner. Right, SNOA is about the best thing that I see. We hit MGOL, so that that's passed here. So uh, we're getting ready to wrap up here. I'm just yeah, entertaining some I'm of the news here about soon. football. I apologize for any of you that hate football, um, but it's you know part of the uh, 
keeping the stress levels low here. Ryan, what do you think about C.J. Stroud going into the draft this year? I think it's fine. I think it's totally fine. Bears don't need a quarterback. Um, hopefully other teams do and want to trade up uh, for that quarterback. We'll see what the Bears do, whether they go that tackle from Georgia or one of the edge rushers like Will Anderson from Alabama. So uh, C.J. Stroud entering the draft is fine. I don't normally root for Ohio State. Um, in fact, I don't root for Ohio State at all. Justin Fields would be the only exception. Uh, so we'll see. We'll, we'll we'll see what ends up happening with that. But I'm hoping all I care about is these players that are that are being drafted. I just want that to somehow mean that the Bears get a bigger haul for their first over overall pick. We'll see. Maybe they trade it. I say trade it, but that's just my idea. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Right, <laughs> you know, you don't do good at making picks. Trade them. Trade them. Trade down. Add capital. That's, That's what, what they the Dolphins do. did. Dolphins really just realized, all right, we got all this draft capital. Let's go look for big receivers. Let's go look for big additions. Let's look for a defensive end. The the different way of doing it, right? Not through the draft. Just going for That's star crazy. players. When you got enough draft capital, you can use it. That's where I feel like the Jaguars don't do enough with what they had, but they did a great year. So I'm not going to doubt them a little bit. Yeah, Trevor really rounded into form the second half of the year. I was worried early on because it sure was looking like he was regressing, but boy, did he turn it on the second half of the year. A little part of me is like, do I add to Valero now that it wants to look look like it wants to go back to VWAP? I'm just going to stay with the, the, the simple trade today, team. Trying to make my way back, climb my way back, crawl my way back. And, of course, keep in mind that if I do take probably another hit, I'll just probably be done for the day. I haven't taken another hit since that first opening one. was able to make a little bit back in Apple. We'll see if we can make it back in Valero. 147 won't be bad. MLGO looks like this has turned to selling volume now. So that push uh, caused people to sell. We'll see if um, if this can like base and maybe kind of hang out. Uh, maybe this will get a secondary push in the afternoon, that, that same theme that we've been talking about. Uh, perhaps this actually trades up this afternoon here. XM, interesting. XM trying to come back here. What we really wanted on XM was going to be a snap of 15 to the upside. Uh, it continued to break down from that level this morning. Now we're we're kind of back up here, so we'll let's see if we curl and go. XM two um, holding this range here, possible mover this afternoon. So right now I'm going to try to narrow this down for you. Um, I've got three I think might be able to move today in the afternoon. That would be XM, SNOA, and MGOL for that second uh, second move here. We'll see. I'm not saying MLGO. Excuse me. I gave you the wrong ticker, MLGO. So we'll see if um, if these end up materializing here, if we get a secondary trade off these. All right, seeing how my internet's not doing great right now, and I had a cancellation for stock market movers. Just want to let you guys know that I am going to be canceling stock market movers today. Just don't want to just kind of run a crappy show by myself, right? I mean, yeah. I don't got anybody else there. So I'm going to delete that one at least for today. Um, you do got Benzinga Live that will be coming up next. Tesla stock squeeze coming. That's what AB is saying. So stick around for that. If you guys want to see what AB has next, that's going to be Benzinga Live coming up at 1130. We're going to start wrapping up here. The SPY just went through the low. So be careful out there, team. Uh, another leak kind of day. And it just seems like every time we come in here thinking the market's one way, it shows us something else, right? We always got to keep that in mind. We'll see what happens. Um, I'll share my screen right quick here, at least to show you guys that. Um, and then we'll start wrapping up here. Any last comments you have, Ryan, you can definitely bring them in. You see the spy now down to 452. We might cut through that 400. Remember I talked about early on in the day when we get back down to that 400. Once we cut through that 400, that's when I get more into kind of short mode. We'll see what happens. Tesla overall is just hanging out here, at least holding on. We'll look to see some of the other names. Apple starting to come down fast. Uh, Microsoft now starting to come back down. We'll look to see if it gets through that opening price. Opening price was at 242.25. Look to see if it gets through that level. Amazon coming back down, broke that. Glad I let go of that break even and didn't look for that 100 run. Was able to still take some profit. But that's how it goes. 
Valero, we're going to keep it on for right now. It's starting to work. We'll look to see if it gets back up there to 147, take the profits and run. Um, and then this is not a swing. This is just like trying to get back to 147, get in the green for the day and take it out. We'll see what happens there. And even if it comes down, it's a small risk. But I, what I like about Valero is if I, it's a bigger reward, right? And if I get in here, I got in 143.68, I moved to 147. That's not bad, right? You're talking about a three point uh 32 cents that's not bad for risking about one point um so you guys see the three to one outlook that i always try to be attacking um technology down about 0.62 on the day basic materials down about 0.92 showing a lot of weakness in those areas but overall there's only one sector that's up from the open which is utilities and that shows us a lot today that everything was setting up towards the upside but from the open, we got some downside action coming in. We'll look to see if this continues to show up as you're seeing stocks come back down, especially technology and healthcare coming really fast to the downside. Stock SAS, probably one of the best trades of the day as you're seeing it back up there at 24.74. Gave you multiple opportunities. Ryan called that early one. There was the VWAP bounce opportunity there by 24s. Now up there to 24.71s. We'll see what happens, team. Like always, Keep watching on what happens in the market. There are some stocks hanging in there like Nucor, PKG, doing well today. Comcast had good earnings. Uh, Sherwin Williams, we'll see what happens there. That's still in the green there. Exxon, Excel, uh, Excel Energy, that's a utility play in the green today. That's going to do it for us. Any last comments, my friend, Ryan? No, just uh, be careful um, out there. Obviously, I think the market's coming lower. We've talked about that. We set up all of those charts. Doesn't look like we're going to push past that resistance area on the SPY that we talked about this morning. And then as well, watch some of these individual names, right? Maybe these trades aren't done. Maybe the big move, we haven't seen it yet. Been kind of a uh, lackluster day here. Maybe the SPY stops dropping. Some of the spec money returns to some of these smaller names and you get one of those pushes. So keep that on your radar. We'll be back tomorrow, right, Mitch? We're going to be on tomorrow? Yeah, we'll be on tomorrow, team. Like always, I'll see you guys bright and early, like always, on pre-market prep, and then we get live trading. See you guys tomorrow. Hit the like, and don't forget, AB will be coming on at 1130. Don't go anywhere, team. This will redirect you right to that stream. You guys can hang out there. See you tomorrow, tomorrow. Ryan. Take care.